Hey, this is Anthony with Revzilla TV, and welcome to our detailed breakdown of the brand new for fall 2011 Scorpion XO1100 helmet. The XO1100 is an evolution of the XO1000. It plays at the top end of the Scorpion spectrum with a price point that's going to be in the, top, the high 200s. We love the bang for the buck factor here. We also love the, the versatility. The big feature upgrade, and if you look at what I have in front of me, I have a Liberty and I have a Cranium, and it's Cranium spelled with a K. And they both have dark smoke shields on, but they're actually gonna come with clear shields. But the big thing that you're gonna realize, the first key difference between the XO1000 and these, is they are going to be ECE and DOT versus Snell and DOT. And what that allows Scorpion to do is have a, still have a great safety rating, but shave four ounces off the helmet. So this is actually gonna be four ounces lighter than the previous model, which was the XO1000 couple other nuances that they've changed. They've changed the channels in the EPS, so the venting is actually more effective. They've also changed the neck roll system and the fit for entry and exit of the helmet. So what they've done, they've made it easier to take on and off, but the way that they've changed the neck roll actually is a little bit more low profile, and it's going to give you a better seal. Nice feature upgrade. The other thing that they've changed, it's now using the Quick Quick 2 removable liner, so it's antimicrobial, antibacterial, it's softer. We saw it for the first time in the 500, and now it's migrating into the XO1000 or 1100 and probably all of the helmets down the range. The nice part about the 1000, and really if you think about it, so think about the 500. It's a little bit less expensive. It's going to have the internal sun visor, just like this 1100 does. The difference is the 500 has more of a polycarbonate shell, and the XO1100 is going to have a a Kevlar and fiberglass shield. So it's upgraded, it's a matrix construction, and allows for a more lightweight helmet that's still going to be very strong. So the 1100 is really gonna play in that same feature range as something like a 750. The key difference is the 750 is an aggressive helmet, meant to be worn in this position, on the racetrack, you know, in aggressive spirited sport riding. The positioning for the 1100 is really an everyman's helmet. So it's a great touring helmet. It's a great upright helmet. You can wear it on the Ducati Monster in the three quarter. It's actually more at home in the three quarter of the upright versus that aggressive tuck. So there's your key difference there. Walking through some of the other features, they're now, they're now wire mesh vents on this guy. You're gonna have a chin vent, removable um, breath guard. I'm actually gonna put the polycarbonate shield down here. You're gonna have a chimney vent here or a brow vent. You're gonna have two lips on the visor system. It is the speed shift system, so watch how quickly I can remove that visor. So I'm gonna put it in the up position. Pop it, comes right off. So very, very simple, that is patent pending. That is a Scorpion only feature. So sticking with the shield change mechanism, moving down, you're gonna notice it's a spring-loaded system with strong detents. And when it gets to the bottom, it sucks it in and creates a great weather seal. Remember, this is gonna be a great touring helmet for those of you in multiple conditions in upright riding. And I will note, on the touring side of things, there are solid colors available in the uh, XO1100 as well. Three position down here, there's open, which allows for open and close. There's cracked, which is nice. It's kind of that defog setting that purposely gives you that last detent, that little crack. And then there's also lock, so you know that it's not going to fly up on you depending on what you're riding. And I, also, I already showed you the, this, the speed view system, which is that built-in Top Gun style drop-down sun visor, and that's operated with a little thumb lever here on the back. It's very easy to use with gloves. That's actually what some of the other folks that have done that in their helmets, they haven't perfected, you know, how do you operate that piece with gloves on. Moving up into the continuing with ventilation, you have two chimney vents that sit on top of the head, and you can notice how far back they're placed, that again, that plays well to the strengths of the upright or three-quarter riding versus the tuck. They sit a little bit further back. And as we move to the back of the helmet here, you're gonna notice that we have an open and close spoiler that houses two venturi vents that are going to allow warm moist air to be sucked out of the helmet in an area of low pressure at speed that's gonna keep that ventilation moving through the helmet. You also have two baby diffusers here at the bottom. Moving on from there, I'm actually going to start to break down some of the guts of this bad boy. I talked about some of the key difference. I talked about the outside features. Talk about fit. It's an intermediate oval. We talked about that this, the 1100 is going to be easier on and easier off. I'm going to move this chin, chin curtain right here. And I'm actually going to show you it uses the air fit system, just like the 750, which is a really, really nice touch. It's a pump style mechanism that you're gonna pump up, and what it's gonna do is behind each cheek pad, there's a ballast that fills with air, 
and you're going to put it to the desired fit or to the desired pressure so that not only on your crown but also on your face you're going to get an ideal fit. And you can adjust that depending on the type of riding you, you do as well as de depending on the type of shape of face you have. So it's going to stop at some point and when I press it it's going to deflate. Now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to pull the cheek pad and if this is the first Scorpion helmet video that you're watching, if you watched our 750 or our 500 you've seen how this works, these bad boys come right out, a couple snaps. Here's my cheek pad, it is replaceable, you can go different sizes, but if you'll notice, here's my ballast. And as I pump that up, you're going to notice that it, can re it really deflates. I mean, it's a solid few millimeters there. So as I deflate that all the way up, imagine your face being in there behind that cheek pad, it's going to give you a lot of pressure. And as I deflate it, it goes back down. I'll show you, I'll remove this cheek pad. I actually want to pull, I want to pull the comfort liner as well, and I want to show you how they've re-engineered the EPS as well. There's a last snap there on the back to keep it in place, keep that neck roll in place. It's integrated. Remember, it's a lower profile here in 2011 for the XO1100. Here's a shot of the 3D liner, quick wick two. Remember, upgraded liner. It's softer. It wicks sweat. Also, it's not going to get functified on you. It's antimicrobial, antibacterial. The other nice thing about this liner, and I'm actually going to open the shield here, I want you to see how it connects in the front. There are some helmets that have two that will have two posts or Velcro that'll be inside around the crown. What happens is sometimes in longer distance situations you feel them. So what Scorpion's done is they've engineered the helmet so that it actually ratchets in along the brow and it's along the front of the helmet. And sometimes it can be a little bit trickier to get out, but it's easy once you kind of get it moving. But by having it up front, having it connect on these ridges in the front of the helmet, you're gonna be able to keep that connection point away from the crown of your head, away from the area that's getting most of the pressure from the EPS liner, from the comfort liner. Now here it's a 3D designed EPS liner with good ventilation and different padding in different places. I'm going to turn it inside out, show you what the guts look like here. There again with your quick wick two, antimicrobial, micro suede, you even have perforation here for flow of air along the brow. And now this is where it gets really, really crazy. And this is the newly the newly designed EPS with these monster, monster channels on the inside that are going to allow that air to come in the top and in the front and really circulate in and around your head. So again, long distance touring scenarios, wearing these helmets for an extended period of time, you want to wear a helmet that's going to protect you, be suited for the type of riding you do, keep you comfortable, keep you acclimatized, whether it's hot out, whether it's, it's cool out, it's keeping you warm or keeping you cool, as well as wicking sweat. But the beauty of a well-designed helmet is you forget you're wearing it. It's not too noisy. It's not too tough. It's not too tight. And what happens is it does its job from a safety pre preventative protection standpoint, but you're not thinking about it. Because when you're not thinking about your gear and it's just working well, it's keeping you comfortable, keeping you focused. And when you're focused in your riding, it's a more fun ride, but it's also a much more focused ride. And focused equals safe. We're seeing things coming with much more time to react. So if you have any questions about the Scorpion XO1100, there's a lot here. And again, I'm showing you two graphic models. Remember, there's full solids. This is a do-it-all helmet, the next in a, in, a, in a very popular lineup from Scorpion. Shoot us a line. See us at RevZilla.com or 877-792-9455. You're using our videos here at RevZilla to watch, decide, then ride. But if you need that, if you get it narrowed down, you need that extra help, reach out to our product expert team. That's what we're here for. That's actually what we do best is help people guide, guide you through that expertise pay, phase of picking what you're wearing. As always, it's over 39 bucks. We'll ship it for free. If you need a different size, shoot it back to us. We'll exchange it for free. If you just don't like it, send it back in brand new condition. So when you're trying this bad boy on, do me a favor, do it in the air conditioning, do it in your living room. Once you take it out on the road, you know, we can't take it back. But if you do need to send it back, send it back new with the tag still on it. We'll happily give you 100% back to your credit card. Um, no restock fees here at RevZilla. And as always, you can earn TeamZilla cash to be applied to your next order as part of our loyalty program. Thank you for watching our detailed breakdown on the Scorpion XO1100. Really rock solid, very versatile helmet, sub $300 price point, available at RevZilla.com slash Scorpion. I'm Anthony. We'll see you next time.